we're back and this time we're going to do another doing um, activity again it's a 3d and again it's one of my favorite things to do I'm right into doing um, as I've said to you before in some other tutorials into doing some things that I can use them for gifts and things like that I think you know with our economic cr uh, climate worldwide at the minute we're all looking for ways to be able to give gifts to people that are not going to be astronomical and I think we're going back to our roots a little bit where handmade and, and things given from the heart can mean so much more to the people that we're giving them to. So today we're going to make this beautiful little purse. Now this is absolutely perfect for putting, it's just velcroed shut and it's absolutely perfect for putting lollies in there for children. It's beautiful for putting a really nice little uh, lace handkerchief in there for an elder elderly lady. Um, you can come up with all sorts of things. It does fit tea bags in it. If if you want to do that and you don't want to make the tea bag folder that we've given you a tutorial for in the past. So that's what we're going to do today. Now, once again, um, the template that you will need to be able to create this little purse is in the template section of our site. Please, uh, you know, would really appreciate it if, again, you can appreciate that we actually put a lot of time into doing these for you. And so the templates aren't there for you to be able to copy and give to all your friends. Why don't you encourage your friends to come and join us on the site? Because we want to create a community whereby all of us can share. And if there's something that you'd like to know and a tutorial that you'd actually like us to, to cover for you, why not send me an email and tell me because I would like to do it for you if I possibly can. So what we're going to do, this is the template that, uh, let me get this right for you. This is the template that we're going to use. It is on the website. All you need to do is print it out, cut around your edges. I've actually then traced it onto template material, which is a plastic that's quite firm. And it just means that when you're tracing around it to actually make your purse, that it doesn't slip and slide and you get nice, good, clean edges and stuff on it. So what you will need to, to um, note when you do using this template is you do need to use a little punch and just punch a little tiny circle on these points here where it goes in for your flap because you need to be able to get your your pencil into that point to make that mark so you actually know where your fold lines need to be. So I've cut it out, traced around it, and I've cut it out, and I'm going to. What we need to do first of all is we need to measure the halfway point between this center, the, the side left flap, and this center, which become our side panels. So we're going to measure in one and a half centimeters and we're working in centimeters on this one so we're going to measure in one and a half centimeters which is the equivalent basically we want the center point so for you you go ahead and work with inches if you prefer to you're looking at about 1.25 um oh it's actually it's not even that it's it's um about one half not even three quarters of an inch so it's just over a half an inch in so just um using a ruler then measure your center point here. And we wanna measure it two centimeters down from the top as well on both of these flaps here. So center point to the side and then two centimeters down from the top. Then what we want to do is we're going to score that so you can see it scores in a triangle this way. And that's what we need to do to be able to create the folding part or this part here of our little purse so that it folds in nice and firmly on that side there. So once we've done that, I'm going to use Prit Glue today, Power Gel, because I actually need this to be very, very firmly sealed shut when we've glued it together, otherwise it won't work. So folding very firmly and using a scoring tool, folding all of our score lines, all of our folds down that side, I'm scoring them very, very firmly because we do need those to be nice and crisp or the bag itself won't fold properly. And I'm just on that one where we've just do, done that line and we want that fairly firm. We're going to do that one as well. Just folding that back a little bit so I can get that nice and firm there. So now what you see we have is we've got the sides that are folded in and this one here folds in, that folds in over there and this side flap, the small side flap on this side is actually going to glue inside. So we just need to ensure that when we glue that down, we actually do glue with that side flap inside so you actually have a full flap 
on the outside just it finishes it off a little bit better so I'm going to put a reasonable bout of my prick gel on the outside there and I'm going to firmly align that and press that down so my tops and bottoms meet perfectly as well so I'm just going the prick power gel actually adheres very very quickly so you can actually just hold it and just continue pressing for a few moments and you'll have that right now as you can see these side flaps are going to fold in and this one I'm going to put the glue along that that left side flap there and I'm going to push that inside the box because that then becomes the bottom and I want to press that firmly as well because that is the bottom of our box and I want that to be adhered quite firmly and quite strongly into that part of the box and we just got to make sure that we actually get that in there so that it's nice and firm and there we go so we take that we now fold the top piece over like that pressing it in firmly on all sides that we've glued just to ensure that the glue is there if you want to and this is personal preference I don't normally do it but I'll do it for you today we pop a little bit of glue in the side there which will just glue and I'm going to just use a little piece of card stock that I've got there just to spread that in there it's not necessary to actually glue this part down um, some people prefer it I was having a discussion with someone the other day and they tend to glue every surface and I, I suppose for me you know if you don't have to do it then it's great not to but I also understand that some people prefer to have that glued down so I'm just going to hold that firmly just for a couple of minutes okay so that's all glued firmly now and we're just going to pop a little piece of velcro on the front underneath our flap and across our flap I've got a little piece of uh, velcro here and I'm going to just cut it doesn't need to be a large piece in actual fact if it's too large then when you go to peel it off because we've got such a small flap it actually will catch and, and you can easily pull the velcro off um, with the flap when you pull it up if you're not careful so I'm going to put the velcro onto my actual flap before I take off the next sticky piece my velcro is all still together as if it was one piece and I've taken that off I folded it in and I'm going to fold that over so the velcro is exactly where it needs to be to get that perfect flap closure that we're looking for and there you go perfect and it's absolutely beautiful have a gorgeous little pocket that you can I mean beautiful for a presentation if you're into making jewelry and stuff like that what more beautiful way to present it as a gift to somebody than in a beautiful little purse just like that. There you go.